Man, this guy right here is a piece of work. Now, I'm going to try not to ad hominem and just insult him because people are people. And this guy might even be suffering from a mental illness. The way he talks, like something is definitely not right. And I'm just astounded by how many of these moronic interactions are happening at mcdonald's lobbies like can't we do this in like a whole foods or something it's it's an example of you are what you eat and these people are eating at mcdonald's so much it's turning their brains into mush oh man all right let's let's watch this bullshit again glasses from to make the food to our car yeah i said he forgot her drinks uh -huh. so he brought gave us one bag took the second big bag I only came back with two drinks. So where's the second big food that we paid for? All right, so your classic you don't pay me enough to do the job correctly maneuver. Our McDonald's, our McDonald's, our McDonald's, McDonald's employee forgot some drinks or a bag of food. So he gave it to the guy and now he's coming back in to retrieve the rest is basically what's going on here. We don't need to. It doesn't even matter. This is such a dumb interaction, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Bit on people. I'm pretty sure you can file assault for. I'm gonna double check on that because th that kind of thing. It, it, you absolutely cannot do that to pe a person. Over what? Two chicken sandwiches? You're basically assaulting people? This guy for sure has a mental illness. Nobody acts like this over such a low stake interaction i mean this dude looks like he's exploding out of his flip-flops he raises his hands he's definitely out of shape he comes to mcdonald's frequently this is his main diet i'm thinking does what you eat constitute how you think if you're eating sludge all the time are you gonna be thinking like that Sorry, the first one was a mistake, so the second one, yeah, I will admit it was on purpose. Because I want, I just want some service, please, and thank you. What is happening? First one was a mistake. I am sorry about the first one. Get this guy out of the lock. Well, after I've already been not getting my food twice. I'm honestly flabbergasted. Every time I've watched this video over, I get my heart rates, my palms start sweating. I get a bit of a reaction going because were there no men in this lobby who could have like done something about this? Was no one informed enough to tell this woman that someone should have called the police, probably press charges on that dude for this? I mean, the person filming didn't even flinch. Nothing was said, nothing was done to correct this man's behavior. I, is this just the attitude of McDonald's? Everybody loves McDonald's. I'm not saying that's everybody who goes to McDonald's, but we didn't have one decent human being in the lot that could have done something, even like said something to make her feel somewhat better. All the boss did at the end was give him the food and send him on his way. I feel like there could have been a bit more room for some justice of some kind. I mean, what a ridiculous guy over chicken sandwiches. And maybe he got called out. He felt bad because he got called out. And that's why he did it a second time. And who talks like that? He goes, what did he say? He just spit on me. I'm not doing this. Sorry, the first one was a mistake. So the second one, yeah, I will admit it was on purpose. First one was a mistake. I am sorry about the first one. So you're saying the second one was a mistake? Well, after I've already been not getting my food twice. And then, I mean, the guy's just gone. Like, the darkness at dawn. I feel like we could have definitely done better. Someone could have maybe stopped him and charges could have been pressed it could have been some kind of justice i just feel like i'm unresolved like this story is unresolved this woman just got spit on which is disgusting i personally am grossed out by saliva and anything like that 
So I would definitely have pressed charges. Bro, I might have jumped over the thing and tackled him to the ground. I would have probably ended up with a tooth in my skull because I would have probably gotten a bit too physical. But that kind of thing is disgusting. Like, how dare you spit on me, sir? <laughs> I would have taken that outside so quick. But uh, no, actually, I take that back. Don't fight people. Definitely don't fight people in McDonald's uh, lobbies. And if you watch the entire video to this point, I freaking love you. Have a good rest of your day.